hello everyone uh latest update uh uh the russian uh defense ministry just announced that the there's major advancement uh from the russian side and the donetsk side and uh so this is the donetsk front forgot to mention so the previously i mentioned that uh the russian forces have uh, advanced the petrivka hayanivka and uh, okiebreske line which is uh this line this line and um the latest report uh mentioned that they actually have pushed further forward to the to the yehorivka novomayrovsky and novodonetsky line which is this line and on the other side on the donet side uh the donet forces uh captured uh karilivka novoandrivka and they also uh they use the word blockaded uh blaho date that name so is this i'm not sure what it means by blockade which means that uh the previous uh a few days ago you know where i i kind of like analyzed that the, the likely defense line by the ukrainians will be along this major road along uh, this this line uh extended from uh Valika Novoselka to Zolota uh, Neva British uh, I don't know how to pronounce all these things Palivka Mike Volodymyrivka this entire line so this is going to be a strong line by the Ukrainians and um uh, and then I'm correct because if you can look at the advance by the, both the, the the Russian side and the Donetsk side this is where we are now the major defense line that is holding up uh the entire southern front of the entire east army so if this fall then if this line fall they will have to fall back to this line over here and this line is actually that major uh supply line all the way from zaporizhia so a lot of pressure now on the ukrainians at the donetsk uh, front here uh, and in interestingly is that the, the, the kind of uh, the way how the Russians have phrased it and like they actually continue offensive then reach a location 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 line this is how they actually describe the instead of taking specific town they are talking about a line so that's which is why on this part I actually write that uh, the, the offensive is on a white front and then they went from this line to this line now they have pushed up across a white front and uh, together with the Donetsk forces now there's a consistent one long line of uh, Russian and uh, Donetsk forces and along with the other the Crimean uh, Crimean for, uh, forces that is actually uh, attacking Velika Novoselka the there is this major uh, major uh, confrontation between the ukrainian forces and the russian forces and i think this is one of the first major uh, large-scale uh, engagement between the two armies because previously all the engagement and fights have been uh, really small uh, it's usually squads and uh, small battalions the most at uh, battalion levels but at this level it could be something to do with the cold snap where all the ground is frozen which is why the russian uh, armor is able to go on the white front advance and taking advantage of the the manu maneuver warfare that uh, armor brigades and battalions are able to make full use of so we are now looking at a widening of this war now uh, with the Russian making full use of the maneuverability of the armor vehicles I think we are likely to see a proper blitzkrieg if they are able to punch through and they will actually cut all the way through all the way through to take uh, important towns like Andrivka over here uh, Constant uh, Constantinopil here and they might actually rush all the way up to Pokrov and that will also cut the other supply line all the way on top if this two junction uh four then resupplying to 
Sabrodonians, Slovians, Kramatorsk as well, Bamut here will be extremely problematic because they will not be able to use the main roads and they will have to go past the dangerous Izium area or they have to go through uh, all these small roads and this is only on this front uh, no idea if uh, they will, the, the Russian armor will start to take advantage uh, in the north but in the south this, uh, this is looking like the Russian uh, armor and military that we know of where they mass a lot of armor and go across our white flatlands and probably this is what we are actually witnessing now over here at the Donetsk front so this is just a quick update and uh, I hope uh, you get, get the message uh, this is this is a big move here something is going to happen not sure if they will fight through the night and uh, I'll see you in the next update